If you think it is utter audacity that Akhilesh Yadav inducted notorious gangster Raja Bhaiya into his cabinet, try this. The man with eight criminal cases against him is Uttar Pradesh's new minister for prisons. And wait, there's more. He is also back in charge of the very department he headed while allegedly orchestrating a monumental multi crore scam. So that's the new Uttar Pradesh. And the new Netaji seems to be defending it. Number of criminal cases, eight. Criminal record, attempting to murder, voluntarily causing grievous hurt, abducting to murder. Meet UP's best known gangster, Kuwar Raghuraj Pratap Singh, alias Raja Bhaiya. The erstwhile jailbird has just been christened the state's minister for prisons. <laughs> Raja Bhaiya has eight declared criminal cases against him. Attempt to murder, kidnapping or abducting in order to murder, voluntarily causing grievous hurt, decoity, illegal payments in connection with an election. I think the message is very, very negative. It takes away that sense of security from your government. I wish this young chief minister had started with a clean slate. But probably he also gain has political compulsions. But you've got to take the bull by the horns. People want you to take the bull by the horns. The christening of Raja Bhaiya has made UP's promising new face look demasculated and hypocritical. Does Akhilesh have any say at all? We have promised this time there will be no uh, this kind of thing what had happened last time. We will try to maintain the law and order properly. राजा भैया के खिलाफ तो मुकदमा किस सरकार ने ज्यादा लगाया आपको भी जानकारी होगी और तारीख के साथ पूछेंगे तो आप जान जाएंगे कि किस तारीख में लगे हैं पुरानी सरकार ने जेल भेजा कि नहीं भेजा इफ अखिलेश इज एक्सक्यूज फेल फ्लैट देन हाउ विल ही एवर जस्टिफाई मेकिंग अ वेल नोन क्रिमिनल द मिनिस्टर फॉर प्रिजेंस हमारी सरकार मजबूत सरकार है और इसलिए जो भी कदम उठाए जाएंगे वो बहुत शानदार उठाए जाएंगे आप बहुत जल्दी इसका परिणाम देखेंगे कि ये सरकार कितने बेहतर ढंग से काम करे। But wait, it gets worse. Raja Bhaiya is also back with his old charge of food and civil supplies, a post he held in 2004-2005, during which he allegedly orchestrated a multi-cross scam involving the criminal diversion of wheat and rice from the public distribution system. But politically, while Akhilesh Yadav doesn't need dreaded criminal DP Yadav, who was denied a ticket for the polls this time. Raja Bhaiya is a different story altogether. Through the years, Mulayam has proved he cannot refuse Raja Bhaiya on any count. A fifth term MLA, he won by a record 80,000 votes this time. The man has progressively acquired immense clout that has made him a rallying point for independent MLAs whenever a party needs to lure numbers from rival camps. How did Akhilesh manage to sound so earnest and promising when he asked for the people's mandate? Akhilesh Yadav's lofty promises of a gangster-free leadership and a tough stance against criminal netas would be funny if they didn't have such ominous implications for UP. Was it all a sham? Has the state been deceived? With Bureau Inputs, this is Amir Haq in Lucknow for Headlines Today.